I set up Immediate Theatre because I wanted to make theatre where I lived. I had been working in mainstream theatre in, in the West End and I felt a real disconnect between what I was doing as an artist and the audiences that I was working for. It's like I'm slowly going to see. You can never feel my pain. So when I got housed by Hackney Council, I decided that I would make theatre where I lived and be a theatre maker in my own community. Immediate theatre is about theatre taking place right here, right now. Immediate theatre applies theatre to the young people, which encourages the social change within themselves and makes them think about themselves as a citizen within our society. We go to young people, we don't expect young people to come to us and that's the big difference. It's about theatre being a part of the community rather than something that happens in a black box like the one we're in now. Sorry, hold on, have I got a bit of makeup? Can I get it? Okay, no. Immediate theatre is a place for young people and adults to um, attend to be creative. What, what is immediate theatre? Immediate theatre is everything. They've been able to change lives. I have an idea! Let's the dream! The work that immediate theatre does for the community is outstanding. What's up everyone, um, Idris here and I just wanted to say that very recently I've been working as a patron for the Immediate Theatre. Now the Immediate Theatre is a small community based theatre group that basically works with young people in communities, encouraging them to get into theatre, storytelling and the arts. The young people that we work with in the community, they're super, and their parents that also benefit from this because they've got a sense of belonging. So the work that Immediate does is so important, especially at the moment in the pandemic, you know, us keeping our um, sessions face to face and not just on Zoom has been really crucial. The support that we give to the community has been just amazing that we've been able to achieve it. I've seen young people come in um, from a very low confidence level and also low self-esteem um, and seeing how much they are um, confident now and they're able to sort of um, say what they want. I was involved in a project where we did an adaptation of Romeo and Juliet. They seem to use theatre as a way to get young people who um, maybe find it difficult to communicate, maybe find it difficult to understand their feelings, and they captivate them in drama and bring them into a community that are absolutely ready to embrace them. My experience as participant was quite, um, the range was quite different. There was happy tears, sad tears, simply because drama for me was an outlet. This isn't why we don't have to go. I'm why we don't have to go. Maybe. There was a life outside of my neighbourhood, um, and immediate theatre showed me that. Yeah. They opened up my eye to the world, and the, you know, within the that industry, the, the media industry as well, there's just so many different possibilities. Because obviously I went there wanting to be an actor and through them alone, I've seen so many different aspects within the media. Within the media. <laughs> the first projects that Immediate Theatre were involved in were all to do with involving people in making decisions about the local community. So not just consultation, but participation. Lots of people have tough lives. I think theatre, the first thing about theatre is that you can have some fun. And uh, all the communities that are involved in immediate theatre have a lot of fun, whatever age they are. Yeah, Chris, yum, yum, popcorn, peas, chocolate, yummy. 
we go to places which are which are far from conventional theatres. You know, there's not a lot of red velvet around. I enjoyed meeting new people, meeting the older people, making new friends. It really made me think that Hackney is a good community and old people are so capable or um, can do more stuff. So working on the estates, we were working with some amazing young people and they would start getting a bit older, 14, 15, 16, and they, they needed to go and find work. So we started really very casually employing young people to support our work. Of course, what we found out was that they were absolutely brilliant at it. So, but They helped us develop relationships with young people. They began to take responsibility. So having thought they were doing, we were doing them a favour, they were doing us a favour. And it became a huge thing that all our projects began to have peer facilitators. It's good to have someone that's in that middle, that's, you know, not much older, but old enough to, to also be able to be that, that bridge between a young person and a full-time lead worker. From working with peers, we developed our Pathways programme, which has helped hundreds of people to develop the skills and confidence needed to progress with their careers. It's really about giving them life skills, opportunity to learn, um, opportunity to get that guidance. So when you give them responsibility, they just learn to basically stand on their own two feet much earlier on. I didn't really get that opportunity when I was young. When I was about 18 or 19, um, I got my first job at a media theatre and it, it kind of gave me the confidence to go to university and study theatre. So much of my life is about our young people at media. The immediate theatre to me is home. It's a big part of my history as, um, as a performer, as a director, but also as a person. I'm really proud of the, the institution that it is and uh, I, know, I know what it's done for so many young people. Immediate's like family, so once you're in, it's really hard to just leave and feel like, you know, you don't really want to leave family, do you? My hopes for immediate theatre in the future is to continue being an inclusive um, young provision provider. Immediate theatre shows young people that Life doesn't always have to be something that someone else tells you it has to be. What Immediate Theatre wants to do in the future is just carry on doing what we do and what we do so well so that we can create real pathways for the young people beyond what we're doing, out into the rest of London and beyond London.